What's going on guys, it's the Halfling Guy here and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to put Twitch alerts into your Elgato HD60 system, whether it be when you want, want to be notified when someone follows, subscribes, donates, etc. As well as how to put a donation bar at the bottom of every one of your Twitch streams. That and much more coming up right after this. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hop over to Streamlabs. And mine's already logged in, but whenever you initially go here, it's going to ask you to connect to either your Twitch account or to your YouTube account. For this video, obviously you're going to do the Twitch account. It's going to have like a login thing up here in the top right corner. Hit that and it'll have you log in to your Twitch account. So after you do that, go ahead and pause the video and then after you do that, rejoin me right here and we'll go ahead and walk through the rest of the tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this widget and so you're going to hit alert box, okay? After you hit alert box, right here is where all the magic is going to happen. You're going to hit follows and these are going to be all the different alerts. So whenever someone, this is how you would get someone, this is how you would get it to pop up on your screen whenever someone follows you. So right here they have any pre-designed layout that you could use. You can have either the text be on a picture or have the text be under a picture. I'm going to go ahead and do it underneath just so you can read it easier. And they have some animations for the alert as well as a message template. You can have this say whatever you want. So you can have it say thanks thanks for the follow. But whatever you do, do not change this name input because that is what's going to enable the system to pick up who followed you and have their name pop up on the screen. All right, so after you do that, you can also come down here and this is where you're going to pick your image. You can either pick one that you upload or I just recommend using one of theirs because they have some pretty neat animated ones. I'm going to go ahead and stick, stick to link. You can also have media. I already picked one. And then down here, you can have the sound volume and everything. You can adjust that how you want it. But after you get this exactly how you want it, come up here to this link, click to show the widget URL, highlight it, copy. You're going to hop onto Elgato. I'm going to go ahead and build one from the ground up for you guys. You're going to hit edit scenes. I usually have a webcam overlay over the top of this, and this is like underneath it. But since I'm using my webcam program right now is not going to let me let, let that pop up. But anyway, you're going to hit add overlay, add web page. You're going to paste the exact URL that you just copied, hit add, and you can have it as big as you want or whatever. And that's going to be where it pops up. You can drag it wherever you want. So we're going to come back over here and we're going to hit test follow. And as you see, there it is right at the top. You can have it move wherever you want, like I said. And that's going to work the exact same way. That's what I thought would happen. The exact same way for subscription, for donation, and you can do it for hosting and bit as well. I haven't. But it's the exact same process. Just make it what you want, copy the URL, paste it whenever you hit add a web page, and drag it where you want it. Okay, so what you're going to do next, I talked about was adding the donation bar at the bottom of your screen. How to do that, you're going to go to over here to donation goal. And you're going to basically type in what you want it for. You can type in anything you want. I'm just going to go ahead and type in... Um, streaming PC and say that PC costs $650 starting amount is going to be zero unless you have funds already accumulated towards it you just need a little bit so we're going to go ahead and hit here I'll go ahead and type in a little bit of funds just so you can see that the bar is going to get full a little bit and you have to have an end date because it's going to have a timer underneath. I'm just going to go ahead and set it to one year from this. 
start donation goal. So as you see, you can change this color to whatever you want as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change mine to blue, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And then you're going to do the exact same thing. After you save, you're going to come up here, click the widget URL, copy it. Go into Elgato, add web page, paste it in there, add it, and there you go. Now in every one of your streams, it's going to have this down here so people can see that they should donate or that you at least have a goal. And I'm not sure if it helps or anything, but I mean, if you do have this in there, it could maybe incline people to be like, hey, someone else has donated. Let me go ahead and chip in too. But guys, oh wait, no, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Sorry, there's one more thing. If you go over here to chat box, so you know how instead to like normally see your chat for Twitch, I usually have like my, the Twitch actual website open like on another monitor and I just read it from there. But what you could do is when you have Elgato open, you could do this. And you could have actually the chats pop up on the Elgato menu similar to how like the alerts were popping up. And it's kind of neat. So we're just going to go ahead and save this setting as well. Copy it just like we normally do. Open up Elgato. Add overlay. Add web page. Paste. Add. And that's going to go... I'm just going to have mine be right here because the alerts only pop up when that happens as well as do these. And then I'm going to adjust the opacity so like they're kind of see-through. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. Just mess around in Streamlabs and Elgato. They're both really intuitive programs. They're pretty awesome. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll get back to them as quick as I can. But again, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and until next time. Y'all already know.